I'm Anil Kumar. This video is for my grade 7 students and we are discussing volume of rectangular prism. The question is, determine two sets of dimensions for a rectangular prism box with volume of 1000 cm cube. Now let me tell you one thing. In questions when I say a box will normally mean rectangular prism, right? And when I say rectangular prism, it means that uh, let us say we make a rectangle here and then I'll show you how to draw this prism. This is kind of a rectangle. Let's say this is the top portion and then then we could bring all these sides down and then join these sides so that kind of becomes a prism. To give you a 3D effect we can always draw these dotted lines which indicate sides which we cannot see from here right so therefore I'm drawing dotted lines for them right so like that, so we can make a rectangular prism. So each side is, each face is a rectangle here, right? We have top, bottom, two sides, and front and back, six faces here. And normally, we will say, let the dimensions be, we'll call this as the length, here is the width, and that is the height for us, right? So whenever we say volume, volume of a rectangular prism, then volume for us will be equals to length into width into height. So it is uh, volume will be uh, length into width into height. And the units are unit Q. So if length is given in centimeters, all these dimensions are in centimeters, volume will be in centimeter Q, right? Now in this particular question, we are given volume is 1000 centimeter cube. So we are given volume as 1000 centimeter cube and what we need to find is length width and height so we need to find length width and height uh, and we need to find at least two sets now the question is how do we do it right now in most of the questions which are similar kind i will suggest you to go for prime factorization so that you get good idea of uh, how to find numbers which multiply and give you 1000. That's the whole idea, right? So we are working with volume of 1000. You know, this is a simple number. So some of you must have got the answer like 10 times 10 times 10. So let me write down. 10 times 10 times 10 is indeed 1000, right? So first choice is very clear. It is the sides could be 10, 10, 10, right? So that gives you one number. But how do we get the other numbers, right? So, so for that, what we can do is, we can actually draw a tree, a factor tree, right? So we have 1000 sitting here. So 1000 could be, let us say, 10 times 100 is 1000. And 100 is 10 times 10. So that is how you got this first choice. But what we could do is, we could further go down this tree, and we can say 10 is like 2 times 5. Now, once we do that, we get so many other options, right? For example, I could combine two dimensions as these, right? So, now, my dimensions could be 10 times 20 times 5. So, second option could be 10 times 20 times 5. So, whenever you multiply all these numbers, you'll always get 1000. You can try. 10 times 20 is 200 times 5 is 1000. You can use the calculator right well we could also make combinations kind of like this we could actually multiply 10 and 10 right so if i multiply 10 and 10 then we get 100 so it could be 100 times 2 times 5. so we get more and more dimensions if we take different kind of uh, factors together right so if i I take 5 and this 10 for example in that case what do we get 5 times 10 is 50 so we could get 50 times 10 times 2 so you can use your calculator to check that all these values when multiplied will always give you 1000 right so that is how we could get so many different combinations for making a rectangular prism box with a volume of 1000 centimeter 
Q, right? We'll also learn here how to sketch. So I showed you one way of sketching. I will now show you another way of sketching a rectangular prism. So we could do, let's say, 10 times, 5 times, Two. So we are looking for a lesser height, right? So you're looking for a lesser height, but we are looking for this to be longer and so kind of like this, right? So we have a rectangle kind of kind of like this, right? So that is the kind of rectangle, and we are looking for lesser height. So so what we can do here is but well, we are looking for long width also, right? So what we can do here, we can make two rectangles. One I've just drawn here, the other one is kind of let us say lighter one do you see that so just one rectangle here the other one like this correct so we can say dot it and this and join these sides so if you join these sides you make a rectangular box inside which you can't see make it with dotted lines so that's also a technique of sketching rectangular prisms right so make two rectangles just as i did you can rewind go back i mean restart this video and see how to sketch that is kind of important right so that is an exercise which you can do so things to do here is we already answered the question so the dimensions are all these dimensions are in centimeters so the units are centimeters so you could write that the dimensions could be 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters they could be 20 centimeters by 10 centimeters by 5 centimeters you could change the order right 100 times 2 times 5 means 100 centimeter by 2 centimeter by 5 centimeter or 50 by 10 by 2 right so these are different ways you can get the same volume right now so what we learned here also as one additional question is how to sketch how to sketch a box right how to sketch a box and second question which I'd like you to do is find surface area find surface area of each box now when I say each box it means what we got these three dimensions right for so many different types of boxes it is box number one let's call this as box number one this is box number two box number three and that is box number four for us so your exercise is to find surface area for each box i hope you remember the formula for surface area surface area is equals to it has two faces of each kind right so it is two times area of each face each is rectangle so length times width plus width times height plus height times length so that is how you get the surface area you can use calculator find surface area of each and then figure out which area is minimum right and then find question number three will be uh, which dimension gives minimum area now can you tell me what is the importance of this minimum area minimum area means less material right so that will be less material less cost less material means less cost do you see that so it is very important to have maximum volume and least area surface area right so find out of these dimension which one gives you the least cost since it is made up of material and the cost of material depends on the surface area of such a box right i hope this video helps you to understand volumes of rectangular prism and gives you insight to many different things we did start with volume but we understood how to sketch a rectangular prism how to find different kinds of dimensions and also how to find or calculate surface area of such a box and importance of the dimension which gives us least cost and least cost is related with least surface area right so move on to the next video and explore some solutions of these questions which we are talking about i hope they will help thank you and all the best